Let us discuss one of the basic theories of circuit analysis, that is, mesh analysis. Mesh analysis is a circuit solving procedure. This method uses mesh current. Here, by using KVL, we find unknown currents. Mesh analysis reduces the equations for solving currents. Mesh analysis can only be applied to the planar circuit. The planar circuits are those circuits that can be drawn on a plane without intercrossing any branch. That means no two branches will cross each other. In a circuit, if at least any two branches cross each other the circuit is referred as non-planar. Before going to the actual topic, let us know what mesh is. A mesh is a loop in a network which does not contain any other loops within it. Let us draw a basic electrical network, which have two meshes, as shown. This is mesh number 1, and this is mesh number 2. In this method, first we have to consider one imaginary loop current for each mesh. These imaginary currents are called mesh currents. Mesh currents are used to calculate actual currents through each branch of the circuit. The direction of the mesh currents can be taken in any direction means clockwise, or anticlockwise whatever we want. Even it is not needed to take all the mesh current in same direction. We can consider any of the mesh currents in any direction. After solving the KVL equations for each mesh we will get actual branch current in actual direction. Although, here, in this circuit we have considered both mesh current in same clockwise direction. Applying K, V, L, across mesh 1, we get, V1 minus I1 into R1 minus I1 minus I2 into R3 equals 0. Let's say, this is equation 1. Minus I2 minus I1 into R3 minus R2 into I2 minus V2 equals 0. Let's say, this is equation 2. If, V1, V2, R1, R2, and R3 are no, then I1 and I2 can be found out easily from these equations. Let us consider the value of V1 is 10 volt. V.2 is 5 volt. R.1 is 2 ohm. R.2 is 4 ohm. And, R.3 is 3 ohm. Putting these values in equation 1 and 2, we get 10 minus I1 into 2 minus I1 minus I2 into 3 equals 0. Let's say, this is equation 3 minus i2 minus i1 into 3 minus 4 into i2 minus 5 equals 0. Let's say, this is equation 4. Solving, equation 3, and 4, we get, i.1 equals 2.11 ampere, i.2 equals 0.192 ampere. So, current through resistance to ohms is 2.11 ampere, from point A to B. Current through resistance 4 ohms is 0.192 ampere from point B to C. 2 or 2.11 minus 0.192 equals 1.918 ampere from point B to D. So, we have seen, how current of branch can be found out by mesh analysis. Hope, you got the idea. Thank you.